Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the water resources engineering and the chapter will be uh, irrigation chapter. And so let's solve the question. The first I'm going to read for you, the annual consumptive use for cotton is 0.8 meter per year. The monthly distribution of consumptive use and the monthly effective precipitation during growing season are given below. The farm and the conveyance losses are 30% and 25% respectively. That's a mine. The monthly TDR values, total delivery requirement, that means for cotton in millimeter month and meter cubic month and hectare. The second one, the area which can be irrigated if the total available water during the irrigation season is 10 power 7 meter cubic for 100% regulation and irrigation models. So, the first I'm going to make a conversion here. Now we can see the use of consumptive is given in the meter. So I'm going to convert it to millimeter. So you see 0.8 meter per year. Sorry. And this is all will be equal to uh, 800 millimeter per year. And now let's find the overall efficiency because you see that the efficiencies are given, lost. So we are going to determine the efficiencies from that. For conveyance efficiency, it says that the farm and the conveyance losses are 30% and 25%. So conveyance loss is 25%. Okay. That means that the efficiency will be 75% when we subtract from the 100. And farm efficiency will be equal to <clears throat> when we uh, subtract 30% from 100%, it's going to be 70%. Overall efficiency will be equal to conveyance efficiency, sorry, multiplied uh, farm efficiency. Over 100 equal to 52.5%. This is my overall efficiency because I need to calculate the total delivery requirement. So let's find the, the crop irrigation requirement and the total delivery requirement. First, I'm going to write here the month. This is April, May, June, July, and August. This is use of consumptive. This is effective precipitation. And this is crop irrigation requirement. And this is total delivery requirement. This is going to be at millimeter month. But the next TDR will be at meter cubic month and hectare. And this is this will be at millimeter, this will be at millimeter, and this will be at millimeter, okay? So we have UC, total UC, we have as one second, I'm gonna write it better. So UC equal to 800 millimeter. Okay, so this is going to be uh, for April, it's going to be 10%, right? Let's check the table, yeah, from the top. So this is going to be 80 millimeter, sorry, 80. I don't need to write here because I specified the unit. And the precipitation will be 40 millimeter, 4 centimeter. I'm going to convert to millimeter. And for May, it's going to be 15%, so 120. And the precipitation 30. For June, it's going to be 20%, so 160. And it's going to be 20. For July will be uh, 30 percent, so 240, and this will also be 20. And for August it's going to be 25 percent. So this will also be sorry, I write the wrong. It's going to be 200. This is going to be 20. So now let's find the crop irrigation requirement. Crop irrigation requirement. I am going to uh, subtract the precipitation from the uh, use of consumptive. Okay. So it's going to be 40 when I subtract 80, uh, 40 from uh, 80. And for this one, it's going to be 90. And for this one will be 160 uh, minus 20 will be 140. And this is going to be 220. 
and this will be uh, 180. Now I have a crop irrigation requirement and for TDR, uh, total delivery requirement, it's going to be something like that. I'm going to uh, take the crop irrigation requirement. Okay, TDR is something like this. Crop irrigation requirement over the overall efficiency. So I'm going to write just one here and then other one I'm going to write fast. So for the first one, it's going to be 40 over 50.5 so i'm going to write 0.525 okay and this will be 76 76.2 this is 76.2 and for the other one it's going to be uh, 171.4 and for the june it's going to be uh, 266.7 and for the july it will be 419 and for the August, 342.9. Now I obtained the total delivery requirement. So I'm going to convert it to uh, meter cubic, month and hectare, because look at the question, it asks for both. Okay, so when I multiply it with 10, when I multiply with 10, I'm going to obtain this value. When I multiply the total delivery requirement in millimeter month, I'm, go, I'm going to obtain the meter cubic month and hectare. I'm just going to multiply it with 10, okay? This multiplied with 10 and 771.4 seven, to, sorry, this won't be here. I just confused. And this is going to be 2667. This will be 149, oh, sorry, 4190. And this will be a 3429. And now I have the uh, total delivery requirement, meter cubic month hectare. And actually, I want to show you, okay? I want to show you how it's going to be multiplied with 10 because sometimes we uh, forget how it's going to convert, okay? So for seven point so sorry seventy six point two meter so millimeter month multiplied with one meter is one thousand millimeter right and this is will be uh, sorry this will be a uh, one hectare equal to ten thousand meter square when this three zero and this three zero will be canceled so you can see that i'm just going to multiply it with 10. now i guess you understand how it is done so now i found both so let's find the second part the first part is solved the area which can be irrigated. So for the area which can be irrigated, I need the total delivery requirement in meter cubic, month, and hectare. The summation of this uh, column will be equal to, I need the summation of this column, sorry. It's going to be 12,762 meter cubic month. And hectare. So now let's solve the second part. The summation of area, sum of area, sorry, uh, sum of TDR, total delivery requirement at meter cubic month and hectare is 12,762 meter cubic month and hectare and uh, the available water available water look at here at the question i'm going to solve you show you again the available water during the irrigation season it, it is 10 power 7 meter cubic okay 10 power 7 meter cubic when i want to find area it's going to be something like that, 10 power 7, this is meter cubic, divided 12,000 
7.62 meter cubic month and hectare. Okay, and now from this, I'm going to obtain 784 hectare as the area will be irrigated. Okay. So let's so, uh, look at the question. What is the thing that uh, they need also? And they ask irrigation modulus. Now we have our area and we saw the second part. Uh, so let's find the irrigation modulus. Irrigation modulus. Irrigation modulus is TDR max. I'm going to write the TDR max first. TDR max is which one is greatest. We are going to take this. So which one is great here? This one. Okay. It's going to be millimeter month. This one. So I'm going to take that. It is 419 millimeter month. And then I need the, uh, the number of days. Okay. Which uh, month that I take? The number of days. The number of days. Which one is this one? So July. It's right. July. Number of days for July. It's 31 days. Okay. 31 days. So let's find the irrigation modulus. Now I have the thing that the things that I have uh, the, the, that I need, sorry. Irrigation modulus equal to Q max. And this is 419 multiplied 10,000. This is for the conversion. You can look at the formula uh, at the book. And 31, the, the number of day for July, multiply with 86,400 is the conversion of day to second. And this will be 156 liter second and hectare. And now this is also irrigation modulus. And now the question is solved. Thank you for watching me. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did something wrong, please warn me. I'm going to fix it. Thank you for watching. See you for the next question.